الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم We believe our aqeedah on the Qur'an that doesn't have any of these types of contradictions, right? Apparent. Otherwise, show us. We're here, apparent or hidden. Any time of the week, bro. I'm here. Me, gotcha. You're in San Diego, bro. I'm at Ribat. Come on down. I've put this challenge out for years, right? So what I'm saying is to you, I will get you an Arabic Qur'an, if you have. Okay? So read it and, and tell me this. A book that has no contradictions, right? A book that is preserved, that was memorized word by word, letter by letter, by, by, by many of the Sahaba, by, by consensus, carbon dated copies to the first generation, many manuscripts. And, and I'll get you proof on it. Don't worry. I got you, bro. And it's not just one, right? I mean, the no, burn. I, I went to Islamic University and then excellent, we studied excellent, it. So the, the, the paper is dated, right? but not the script. Excellent. That's excellent. What we were if they, you if, are, if I'm you mistaken, are, then you, I'm sorry. I got you. We but you were dating based off writing style. Yes. Right? So writing style also shows it to be from the time of the, the companions, right? Because Arabic writing styles also changed. And companions, but not Com So that is the first generation, right? Now, on top of that, on top of that, the Birmingham Quran is carbon dated to the lifetime of the Prophet, وسلم, right? On top of that, that is not, but Sana'a is complete. Now, on top of that, on top of that, we have the names of those Sahaba. I had, I think, 30 something that I mentioned that I can historically show you evidence from Kutub al-Rijal that they memorized the entire Quran in the time of the Prophet Excellent. Memory skills. Excellent. So, 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 so one thing, one thing you would agree with me is the Quran is perfectly preserved in memory by the companions, right? How is that? Was there any khilaf when Zayd ibn Thabit put together the, the Mus'haf of Abu Bakr or Uthman? No, but there were some people that forgotten some verses. Some Excellent, of course, places, of course, but, but. He burned whatever Excellent. way so of writing. That was, that was, that was writing. after Uthman, right? That was but, Umar, yeah, but, yeah. but, no, no, Umar didn't compile the Quran, bro. Come on, what no, happened to university? Yeah. All right, there you go, there you go. Yeah, yeah. It's all right, man, it's been a while. I'm going Arabic. I, I got you, it's all right, it's all right, bro. We, we cool, don't worry about it. So the Quran was memorized. If somebody forgot an ayah, it wasn't one person, right? There was a, there was a shura headed by Zayd ibn Thabit who required two shuhud, including written from the time of the Prophet ﷺ to compile. And the Sahaba came to ijma, consensus. So that is a pretty preserved book. Excellent, excellent. Just because something is preserved doesn't mean it's true. Excellent. Now, let me ask you this. As you know and you've studied, you know about the splitting of the moon. I mean, that's a supposed miracle. Excellent, suppose it, right? So, who saw it? All right, I'll tell you what. If I can prove to you that not only your mutawatir is, if you study in Islamic University, what's mutawatir? Like mutawatir hadith you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah, like fully attested to more witnesses on each. Well, I mean, so, I, yeah. I don't know the exact so science of it. So yeah. mutawatir is, is not just two. Two would be Aziz. Three would be Mashhur and so on, but that would be all under Ahad. But to what there is so many reports that are that it cannot be scientifically numerically alive because they didn't know each other different tribes and all that right if I can show you mutawatir ahadith that people witness not just Muslims but the enemies of the Prophet sallallahu about the Quraysh who never became Muslim attested to it and those that were mushrik at the time that became Muslim attested to it and tribes that were outside of Mecca attested to it and Anas bin Malik in Medina attested to it and even though they will not match our hadith checking skills but people in India Kings in India is according to their oral and written documents saw it. So would you agree that the moon did split? I wouldn't say it's with all that split, evidence. But I would say they, they might have all been confused that, on what they saw. Okay, so now, now let me ask you this. Let me ask you. Because you know, we know scientifically, if you split the moon and have the earth is done for it. No, just from the gravity. It's no, it's not. Let me let me let me explain it to you. Habibi, Habibi. Because I don't want you to make a fool out of yourself. I just want to help you, okay? I have a video on this. Watch it. The NASA's research shows that at one time the moon was two pieces. That's before they were human. Uh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Let me explain this. NASA does not date it. Okay? NASA cannot date it because they have no evidence for dating it. All NASA is telling you that a time 
there are two halves of the moon, not just the Earth's moon, other moons as well, that have two distinct sides. And as you know, the moon has cracks all around it, right? Which we, we cannot say necessarily. NASA is not in the work, in the job of, of proving or disproving religion. But what do they do say that these were two halves that were put together? So, now, once again, once again, once again, once again, once again, NASA does not date it, does it? They, they do not date. NASA makes it up. <laughs> so you, you believe the, the, the universe 13.8 billion years ago? No, because NASA can't prove that either. But they say it. That's no, 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 no. Let, let, me, let me explain this. There's a difference between a theory and what's observed. What they have observed with evidence, and it's in my video, you can watch it, is there are two distinct sides of the moon. So there was a time when this was split. Now, when it happened, NASA does not say. The NASA is not saying. Okay, so, so there you go. Sure. So, so, so don't think the splitting the moon, the Earth would be done. But what I'm saying is, as a miracle. I'm talking about humanity because of all the gravitational pulls and the tides and the water and the ocean, something that big. If the moon split today, we'd all die. Sure. But that's why it's a miracle. Yeah, I'm So now what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, if I can bring you evidences from not just the Prophet Sallallahu not just in Mecca, not just in Medina, not just in the Arabian Peninsula, everybody was full. Yeah, I'm not saying they were full. Right. Everybody was confused. I'm not saying they're confused. I'm just saying just because someone thought, saw something, mm -hmm. there could have been other natural explanations. Like what? How does the moon split and come together? What natural explanation do you have? That's Come what I'm, on, I'm bro. saying it might not have been split. Okay. It might have been something that happened. So, so, so the hadith dessert. says split into two sections, including the mushrikeen. Right? Mountain between them. We saw them separate and come back together. And they had asked for it. It wasn't like he just said, hey, guess what, guys? Let's do it. Right? Those who say, ask for a miracle. What do you want to see? What will you believe? They said, yes, if you split the moon. He made dua, Allah split it. Now, Anas ibn Malik was in Medina. Go ahead. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. From I remember from school back in the days. Mm -hmm. well, but didn't Allah say to Muhammad that he will not perform miracles in front of No, the no, no. That is incorrect, right? People misunderstand this from the Quran. Yeah, I, I remember. Sure, I got you. Bad. I got you. The issue is that people ask for miracles. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showed them that this Quran is a miracle in and of itself. And even if Allah gives miracles, many people, they will not believe. But no doubt the Prophet had miracles and the scholars of Islam, ijma'an, by consensus, have said there are mu'jizat al nabi Right? Right? So, we have like books like Dalal al nabuwa which maybe you studied or maybe you didn't, right? It's Bayhaqi. There are the Sahih ones, very nice. You should get it. Right? We read the Arabic ones. I don't know. This is in Arabic. Oh, no, no. Dalal al nabuwa is Arabic, bro. That's not English. No, no. I'm saying like, you know, I also read only in Arabic. I don't like English myself, right? Even though I'm not a native Arab. Right? Yeah, excellent. But. Now, if we can show you repeated proven miracles through mutawatir ahadith, first-hand reports from the enemies of the Prophet ﷺ and friends, from the Sahaba and others, right? You have to admit there is something. I'm not saying there is something, but okay. that just doesn't... So miracles don't move anything, preservation doesn't mean anything, what would you... Well, you can preserve something, you can right. potentially think so, that's a miracle, but it doesn't... But you, but you have a book that clearly has numeric uh, copious errors, and then you have a book with no errors, which one would you want to rely on? I don't rely, that's what I'm At all? We so you don't, you don't take in consideration. Okay. Of the church. So we have okay. oral tradition. Excellent. So, so so let's check so the our, oral tradition on, according to the hadith faith, sign. Our faith is not based just on the Bible alone. Gotcha. Because the church was. Let me, let me explain this to you. I'm listening. When the apostles went out and they preached, the people became what you would call today Christian. New churches were built. There was no Bible. There were a lot. So I'm saying the church, the Bible is a book written by the church, to the church, for the church. Excellent. That's all it is. The church was alive, the teaching was alive, Christianity was all over the world before even that Bible was compiled. Okay, so we do agree, so, so hold on, I just want to agree that this Bible is not from the time of Jesus, it was written later by the church. I don't know which translation you're talking about. Any trans, you just said the Bible. Was not when we say the okay, can you tell me when, when I say the Bible, what do you think I mean? The Bible, the, the books like John, Matthew, Luke, all the these. Bible uh -huh. is just from the Greek Bibliotheca. It just means a library of collection of ancient documents. That's all sure, it okay. So when you say a Bible, it's so just that, a collection of documents. That collection is not from the time of Jesus. You just said that, right? It was written by the church later. No, no, the church has, <laughs> I'm talking about the church. You have to understand. What I am trying to understand. I mean, when you laugh, because... No, no, it laughs, because I'm throwing me off, because, okay, because you say one thing, right, and then right, you 
would right. jump so away from it when. You, can you give me the definition of a church? Okay, uh, a place of worship. Okay, what's okay. your definition? You see what I'm saying? Okay, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. When you say wrong, be careful because if you looked up a dictionary, you would find a definition similar to it. All right. Okay. Church is just a. Okay. Look up the Greek word ecclesia. You asked church, right? So I'm going to give you the. Okay. You, you did not ask me about a Greek translation. Church is a translation of the Greek word ecclesia. Okay. What was the question? What is the definition of church? Read it. A building or public building used for Christian worship. Exactly what I said. Exactly what I said. Keep, keep reading. Okay. Look at the. Sure, sure. There, there, there are many definitions. So. A, a body organization of religious believers. That is the definition that we can Okay, think. excellent. I'm saying. Okay, so, so a body of religious. Right. So I want to understand your. They collected and put together this Bible, not from the time of Jesus then. Right. No, the Gospels, the uh -huh. letters of Paul, mm -hmm. well, Christ had already died and resurrected when that happened. So right. these not according died. to us, but yeah. <laughs> well, it's different beliefs. Uh, uh, true. I just want to right. clarify that. Yeah, yeah. So the, uh, all these letters that were being circulated in the church back then, mm -hmm. they were circulating at the time Paul wrote them. But we didn't have what's called a book back then. Did you have to understand? The gotcha. Book was discovered hundreds of years later, which you would call today a book. So who, who wrote those letters? Which one? Hebrews, for example. Like I told you from the beginning, we don't know. It was a sermon given by Paul, but written by Luke, because it's Pauline in nature. So, for example, let's go with uh, I don't know um, Mark. Who wrote Mark? Mark. Mark, for whom it is the gospel is named was not an apostle of Jesus, but rather an apostle of Peter and real king character in the book of Acts. He's known as John, whose surname is Mark. It is also John's Mark's mother in Jerusalem that Peter went and released from prison. Not, not Mark, the one with Jesus. <laughs> right? So let me ask you. It's okay, it's okay, I got you. Let me ask you something, okay? As a Catholic, you're Catholic, right? Yeah, not Roman Catholic, Catholic. Didn't say Roman, it's a Catholic. Yeah, okay. Yeah. As a Catholic. Middle Eastern Christian. Middle Eastern Christian, right? Around for a long time. Way before Protestant. I'm sure you have, right? What is your core belief? Believe that there's only one God. Only one God. Only one God. We with you so far. Good. Yeah. No kids, no roommates. No three. No three then. We don't believe in three gods. There's no such thing as three gods. There's Excellent. Only one god, but there are okay. three persons who share that nature. Now this is different Christian doctrines. Now I'm getting confused. You're not getting confused. I am. I am because. I mean, so. Yeah, I am. I'm not saying you are. I'm, I'm saying. So one god, always god. been one. Yes, one god. Okay. Then, but that one has like three entities in it. I wouldn't say the word entities. What would you say? Because this is Cause confusing. When we say there's only one God, we're talking about the essence of God. There's only one essence of God. But we are told through Revelation there are three persons that share that essence. Okay. They're not three different gods. It's the same God and three persons because they have. So they do have they talk to each other? Do they talk to each other? Like, does one worship the other? In eternity, I, can, there's no way we can know because it wasn't revealed. What we do know is when the eternal son incarnates, when, when he came down and took on human flesh, yes, as a, as, as a human nature would worship the Father. So now he was separate from the Father because he was worshiping. How, how do you worship the same thing then? Are, was he worshiping himself? No, worshiping the Father. The so, father so that is separate the same then. Thing. Okay, the Father and Son are the not the same God, thing. They're different persons. There, there's a difference between so, so, so you know this is confusing, right? Timothy Come on. Okay, let me let me ask you again. So there's one God, but there are three persons, persons. that share that essence, that okay. Godhead. But one of them worships the other. In his human nature. Okay, so that means it is separate because he's worshiping something. He's not worshiping himself, is he? What do you mean by separate? Tell you. I, I, maybe I'm, okay. I'm confused. Do you worship God? Yes, I do. Okay. That means you... Inshallah, I hope you worship Allah. That's right? Okay. You do worship, you pray, right? So you are praying to a God. Right? That is your God. You're not worshiping yourself, right? Okay. So if you were 
praying to yourself. Let's say you were like, I mean, I'm not saying you are, but I'd let's say you were. I'd be confused and put in a straight jacket. Thank you. But Jesus never Thank prayed Thank you. Wait, 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 say that again. That was wonderful. Father. Excellent. If you were praying to yourself, you'd be confused and put in a straight jacket. So if Jesus prayed to the Father, he's not worshiping himself. So he's, he's worshiping the Father. Okay, so there's one, Jesus, worshiping another one, the Father. <laughs> okay, but now he is... Uh, look, I, let me, you ask me, let me tell you. I don't believe there's three. I don't believe there are three. I believe there's only one Allah. He doesn't worship himself. He doesn't, it's not a Lego set. He doesn't separate. He doesn't come back together. Look, I'm, I'm, let me, let me speak. Let me speak. Let me speak. Look, bro, you asked me, you asked me, you asked me, so let me answer, right? I don't believe God will ever be in any sense lower than angels. But you do find in the Bible, in Hebrews chapter 2, 9, but we see Jesus who was made a little lower than angels for the suffering of death, right? But was he God at this time? You don't always think of. So God was lower than angels? In his human nature. He, he took on that You role. think God was lower than okay, angels yeah. ever? Are you going to be consistent? Right I am, now? I am. What you just read right now. Right. Previously, it said that he is God. Where? So, no, no. It said he is God. So are you going to be consistent? No, no, no. My question is not... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let me, let me answer. Hebrews, sure. Right? Can I answer? Sure. My consistency is that I'm reading to you what I read. I don't believe this is the word of God, right? But, but my question to you is whether you call him God or not is not the point. My question is that do you believe that who could be considered God would at ever be lower than angels. Yes, he took on that Wow, that, that, that is surprising to me, to be honest. Because that's a concept hmm? that you don't have in Islam. Alhamdulillah, we don't. Yeah. Yeah, well, alhamdulillah. Well, I just said alhamdulillah. At the end of time, then. But I'm saying that God took on that role because of our sinful nature. Okay. He lowered himself. That's why if you read the letters of Paul, sure. he said that he humbled himself. So God became lower than angels by his own choice, you're saying? In his human nature, he okay. took on that role to become a sacrifice for his But he people. did become lower than angels, and he was still God. It's talking about his human nature, because human nature is lower than an but angel. I, angel I, I asked you, was he God at this time? And you said yes. He's always been God. Okay, so then God, during his time, according to you on earth, was lower than angels. It's, but it's referring to his human nature. <laughs> okay. Because if you keep reading, okay. I mean, you, you, you're kind of going in a loop, so I'm, I'm going to. Okay, can you read Second Re Corinthians? Hold, hold on. Let five. me just read one more. Well, hold on, okay, go ahead. I got you, bro. Right. Uh, which, which verse would you like me to read? Uh, Here, you read it. There you go. I'm explaining to you why he was lower than the way I'm listening. I just want to understand. That's a lot of stickers. I read the Bible a lot. I wouldn't be reading this one. Give me yours. I'll read yours. Read your name? I'll bring you. I'll learn. I'll bring you. Okay, seriously. Although I'm pretty sure that verse is the same in Aramaic, right? <laughs> uh, I'll check. Okay, cool. Have to uh, bring me one. I, I would love to read it. No? I, I have a whole section. You have to remember something. Jesus spoke Aramaic. All his apostles spoke Aramaic. I agree. His words in Aramaic would have a lot more meaning. I agree. You know, the Christians we see, Protestants, keep telling us that they spoke Greek. And we keep telling them they were Aramaic speaking people. Speak. Right? They were. But they didn't write in Greek, right? That wasn't their. No, no, you have to understand something. If, Paul, if let's say, let's say Peter or Matthew wanted to write something to a church, let's say somewhere in Greece, sure. no Greek, they had scribes to write for them. That's gotcha. what Luke but we don't know those scribes, That's, right? Yeah, Not all of them, right? Hebrews, no. for example, we don't know who wrote it. Well, we're told. Again, remember, I have not explained uh, read, anything read, read your verse. oral tradition. Oral tradition. Yeah. I'm going to be, I'm going to be getting to that. That's very father. interesting so to me. That's it. That was a sermon given by Paul, sure. written by Luke. Oh, I'm sorry. No problem. We got it. It was a certain sermon given by Paul. Find your, find your verse first, bro. Sorry, I'm not used to English ordering. Take your time. Don't, don't be stressed out, bro. No, I'm not stressed. All right. Would you like a chair? So get the man a chair, man. No, 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 I'm good. I'm good. It's okay. Thank you, no, no, I'm good. Give him a chair. It's okay. It's okay. And the two minutes that you're here, we want you to be comfortable. No, no, Habib, I'm good. I swear. I got you. I got you. No, no, put, put the chair for the man. Nervous? I'm from the Middle East. Nah, he, you, you, you don't know what nervous is, man. He's hardcore like that. Look at that, man. Nervous. We walk around with their bodies back. Talk about nervous. <laughs>
We walked around dead bodies around here, man. You ain't never haven't been raised in Cali, bro. Salam salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Message him inshallah. Ordering is just a little bit. Let me just find out my You want to do it later? No problem. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Just the ordering, I'm not I understand, bro. I'm, I'm not putting any pressure on you, man. إذا أعجبك الفيديو لا تنسى الإعجاب والتعليق ولكي يصلك كل جديد اشترك الآن